Okay, this is a manual defib OSCE demonstrating how to use a defib in manual mode and we are going to attempt a unwitness cardiac arrest. Before we approach our patient, we're going to make sure the scene is safe. We've got all our PPE, um, we're going to check for any bystanders, any sort of immediate dangers that could be of harm to us and approach only if the scene is safe. So our scene is safe, we can see our patient and we're going to approach. Hello, hello, sir, can you hear me? This is the ambulance. He's not responding to voice or touch. We're going to check his airway, Martin. Can't see anything in his airway. I'm going to look this in the field. Martin, please set the defib up and put it in manual mode. Okay, attach the pads. He's not breathing. I'm starting CPR. And call for backup when you're done. And once the pads are attached, please hit charge immediately. Thank you. Now once this is charged, I'm going to assess the rhythm. Okay, I'm assessing. This is VF. Stand clear! Please right. shock. Shocking. Shock delivered. Right. Our next shock will be delivered at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. AT1 to comms. Go ahead. Got an R49 requesting an R50. Copy that. ETA 20 minutes. Thank you. Wonderful. Backup's called? Yes. Great. Check patient. Okay. Now, you just get to set up an airway with the ETCO2 probe connected okay. and do a test run. I can feel good chest recoil. We're getting our airway ready. Then we'll have our oxygen running at 15 litres. And we'll start considering what could cause this cardiac arrest. The ETCO2 filter goes before the filter to make sure there's no vomit or anything that gets inside. Okay, and we've inflated. All right, testing. Three, two, one, there. We're getting a good chest rise. Good chest rise. How's the compliance? Oh yeah, it's nice and full. Wonderful. Please secure that airway. Okay, now we're getting close to our 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so Martin, in about 20 seconds I'll get you to press charge again so we can reassess, and then I'll get you to take over compressions for me over the head. Yeah, I was ready, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, press charge. Alright, charging. All right, I'm assessing the rhythm. This is still VF. Stay clear. All right, press shock. Shock delivered. Wonderful. All right, so our next shock will be at four minutes and thirty seconds. Right now, I'm doing a quick visual assessment. See if there's any massive trauma, any bleeding that I can see. Six turn Check patient. Okay, we're getting a good chest rise. Martin, while I'm doing a blood sweep, could you please continue your ventilations? Can't see blood, lower limbs. We're continuing at 30 to 2 ratio. 5, 6, 7, 8, 30. Everything appears to be intact. Okay. No blood. 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 30. All right. Still getting a chest rise. Okay. Now, going back to our five T's. Trauma, blood sweep revealed nothing. Tamponade, we can't see that. Toxins, I don't see any tablets or toxins anywhere. We can't uh, rule out tension pneumothorax yet because we haven't had a listen to the lungs. And the last one, we can't um, forget about a thrombus because we can't see the heart itself. Alright. 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 30. Listening to the lungs. I can hear good bilateral air entry. So there's no tension in the thorax. Our H's include hypoxia, hypovolemia, hyperkalemia, hypothermia, and excessive hydrogen ions. 8, 10, 9, 30. Alright. Still getting good chest rise. Okay, Martin. Um, I'm going to come around this side and hit charge, and then I'm going to get ready to take over CPR. Okay, 
cost in 6 pence 10 to 8 pence 9 30. Okay, I'm assessing the rhythm. This is a non shockable rhythm, Martin. Please stop. Okay, stop. Okay. All right, Martin, please count me down and continue ventilations. Okay. Now, we'll continue one cycle and then reassess if necessary. 7, 28, 29, 30. Still getting a chest rise. Good chest rise. 